So when we started in the early 2000s, we had no idea where this journey would take us. We met at university. We were a group of idealistic students, united by friendship and a passion for the environment. Back then, the science on climate change was crystal clear. There was this problem. Nobody could see it. Nobody could feel it. You couldn't smell it. Hey guys, Ingo's calling. Ingo. Ingo. Hey guys, yeah, sorry I couldn't be there today. Um... So, in the beginning, it was very difficult to excite people to do anything at all about climate change. In the early days, there was definitely less awareness about climate change. We could see that the glaciers were melting and we needed to stop climate change. And there was plenty of people that didn't take us very seriously. We realized if you want to get people into action, we have to show them solutions. So we started with this idea of financing projects, trees, recycling, uh, energy efficiency, real things that actually uh, you can see the benefits they do. You have to move the narrative from just talking about the problem to talking about the solution. In 2009, the Kyoto Protocol collapsed and the carbon market imploded. A multi-billion dollar market gone overnight. We had to retreat and really reinvent ourselves and focus on a different market, the voluntary market. So it was almost a 180 degrees turn and that led us to focus on high quality projects even more. And that really helped us then to go through the difficult times of the financial crisis and into a time that we we're in now, where we see a research and interest into um, climate mitigation. When the Paris Agreement was signed and the world started to care about climate change again, we had both sides. We had the developing countries and the developed world, and now we can, we can basically focus on, on building on both legs. 2019, Greta Thunberg entered the stage. And that was a very special moment because she managed to do something we had not managed before. She went out and said, guys, we have a problem. You better find a solution. You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet, I'm one of the lucky ones. And the big change is that now nobody denies climate change anymore. Now it's amazing to see that there's finally some real movement in this climate area. So here we are 15 years later with more than 500 people from 40 nationalities and 20 offices around the world having done many projects. But you know what? The problem is still there. The glaciers are still melting. So we will have to work even harder to solve this problem in the next 15 years. The impact of climate change is real. We can see it. We can feel it now. Our steep climb during the next 15 years will be difficult at times. But because we have everything we need, the technology, the solutions, the people, the drive, will not only reach the summit, will come down safely on the other side. This is our climate journey.